वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेट अस स्टडी स्टीम बॉयलर और स्टीम जनरेटर ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल काइंडली लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल द टॉपिक्स इंक्लूडेड इन टूडेज लेक्चर इज इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ बॉयलर एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बॉयलर नाउ लेट अस स्टडी द सिंपल डेफिनेशन ऑफ बॉयलर ए बॉयलर इज ए क्लोज वेसल इन विच Water is heated and converted into steam. So it is nothing but a closed vessel where water is converted into steam. Now again, let us uh, add some words. Water is heated, but how? With the help of heat produced by combustion of fuel. So that we have added, and so it has the new definition. Now let us again add something. at desired pressure and temperature so the simple definition of boiler says that a boiler is a closed vessel in which water is heated with the help of heat produced by combustion of fuel and converted into steam at desired or required pressure and temperature now let us say we are adding something a boiler is a closed vessel now closed vessel is again known as boiler drum or boiler cell so a boiler is a closed vessel which is known as the boiler drum or a boiler cell in which water is heated with the help of heat produced by combustion of fuel and converted into steam at desired pressure and temperature now here in boiler we study that we require to heat the water and with the help of the hot gas is generated by combustion of fuel so whether this two will be in direct contact or indirect contact yes both cannot be in direct contact both will be in indirect contact so we require some tube right so the condition is that water can be filled up in a boiler drum and heat produced by combustion of fuel can pass through the tube so that when passes this uh, product of combustion of fuel through the tube it heats the tube and then it heats the water so that is the indirect heating of water by combustion of fuel so that is one arrangement second arrangement is water passes through the tube and the smoke gases are outside the tube that is in a boiler drum so both are not in direct contact but they are in indirect contact so it requires boiler drum as well as tube application of steam the main application of steam are to drive the prime movers which are the prime movers steam turbine in thermal power plant and steam engine in train it is also utilized in industry as a process heating so if you want to heat something then steam is also utilized classification of boiler according to the position of boiler horizontal boiler vertical boiler or inclined boiler so position of what position of large closed vessel that is uh, boiler drum or boiler cell so in this what is the you can say Uh, position of drum or position of large closed vessel it is vertical so it is known as the vertical boiler now let us see the another figure in this figure boiler drum is placed horizontally so this is the example of horizontal boiler and similarly this boiler drum can be placed inclined also so that is the inclined boiler according to the number of tubes in boiler So let us see the example of this coach run boiler. Can you identify the tubes in this boiler? Where it is located? Yes, one, two, three, and four. Four tubes are there. So it can be the single tube boiler or multi tube boiler. So what is the type of boiler that is coach run boiler? It has one tube or multi tube? Yes, it is a multi tube boiler because it has more than one tube. according to the fluid 
passing through the tubes. So consider this is the tube. And what is passing through the tube? Hot gases. And what is the outside of the tube? Water. And this kind of arrangement is known as fire tube boiler or smoke tube boiler in which hot gases passes through the tube and water is surrounding the tube. Another type is water tube boiler in which water passes through the tube and hot gases are surrounded by the tube. And this kind of arrangement is known as the water tube boiler. According to the method of water circulation, how we circulate the water through the tube, it can be natural circulation, it can be forced circulation. It means water can circulate naturally or water can be circulated forcefully. Naturally means it uses the gravitational force. Let us see the water comes down due to gravity through the tube. Now, when the hot gases passes over the tubes, what will happen? The water will be heated. Now, as the water will be heated, right, its density will decrease. And low density water can move up automatically. So, the water flows down automatically due to gravity and the low density high temperature water moves up automatically. So this is known as the natural circulation type boiler. This one is the forced circulation type boiler in which water is supplied to feed pump and with the help of the pump, water is forcefully supplied through the boiler drum. And this kind of arrangement is known as the forced circulation boiler. Now, previously we have studied the method of circulation of water. Similarly, we require to circulate the air and hot gases. If hot gases are not circulated, then it will be stagnant and it will not heat the water continuously. So, we are required to circulate air and hot gases and the Boiler can be classified in a different, uh, you can say, classification as per the method of air and hot gases circulation. One is natural draft boiler in which hot and air gases are circulated naturally. And second one is artificial draft boiler in which air and hot gases are circulated artificially. And what are the different types? Steam jet draft and mechanical draft and in the again mechanical draft it is induced draft force draft and balance draft let us study so this one is a natural draft boiler in which air enters the boiler then it passes through the economizer air preheater and chimney automatically and here it passes or circulates due to the pressure difference between the entry of air at the boiler and exit of hot gases at the top of the chimney because there is always some pressure difference at higher height and the furnace height. And due to that, it is known as the natural draft boiler. This one is known as the artificial draft boiler and in that it is a forced draft boiler in which the air is passed through the blower that is FD fan force dropped fan and high pressure air is entered into the boiler and that high pressure air passes through the economizer, air preheater and chimney. So that is known as the force dropped fan. Another one is the induced dropped boiler where blower or ID fan, it is kept at the bottom of the chimney and the blower or ID fan sucks the air from air preheater, economizer and boiler. So, this kind of arrangement is known as induced draft boiler. Steam jet draft boiler in which with the help of the steam, the air and gas are thrown out and this is known as the steam jet draft system. According to the location of boiler, or according to the location of furnace in the boiler, that is internally fired boiler, 
and externally fired boiler. It means if the furnace is located inside the boiler drum, then it is known as the internally fired boiler. Let us take the example of the locomotive train or a train in which the coal is fed to the boiler. That we have seen that uh, you can say scenario where the operator feeds the coal inside the boiler. So it is known as the internally fired boiler. An externally fired boiler means if the furnace is located outside the boiler drum, then it is known as the externally fired boiler. According to the boiler pressure or according to the pressure of water or steam inside the boiler, it can be low pressure boiler, medium pressure boiler or high pressure boiler. According to the application, boiler can be stationary, boiler can be mobile or boiler can be marine. That is the application where we use in the ships and boats. So that is the marine boiler. Thank you.